What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Pushkas, the new striker moments, obviously for FIFA 21. I don't think I've actually played with any other version of this card, so it's going to be very interesting. He is a 4-star, 3-star, and he is left-footed standing at 5'8". Obviously, he was way, way before my time. Um, I don't even know if he gets... Okay, we go, look. Um, 1960s European final. Jeez. He was obviously... what? In fact, I've got his year, haven't I? So he was born in 1927. So obviously... Uh, a while ago obviously I, I don't particularly remember him even in the slightest but his card looks absolutely fantastic he's coming in at 1.6 mil on the xbox practically 155 on the p on the playstation and 2.5 on the pc i can just imagine he is going to be incredible obviously one that we would like to get he is the only hungarian icon in the game so you know if you get a hungarian flag don't be confused with the Bulgarian, but the Hungarian flag is going to be a huge dub in the Prime Moments SPC. So let's not waste any time. He's got the outside of the foot. He's got flair. He's even got a power free kick. Let's see what Pushkas can do and hopefully win a few games. One, two for Pushkas. Can we find that little... Oh, that is a wicked left foot. You saw the power just come off that. That's going to be a very, very nice shot. Let's see if we can get another one on him. He just reminds me that he, he just looks like a very, very good card. I don't know what it is about him. He just... He, I don't know. He just the card, the look of him. He's brand new to the game. Obviously, he is still a big name. Um, I believe it is the the obvious um, one of the the goal of the year, the Pushkas Award. So it is going to be a very very good card, even without actually this like literally having one shot, and I'm already bigging him up. So hopefully he does live up to that expectation. We will kind of get him on here once we get the ball back. I reckon he could get that before the keeper. Got the absolute pace. Militao chasing. Oh wow. Oh, we tried to cut him. We try, We should have just went with our instinct there. Lovely, lovely pace from him. You saw him just off the keeper's kick. Absolutely rinses the defense and manages to nearly get in on goal straight away. Pushing forward with push gas. That's a great foul. I was going to say that that's got to be a foul. Literally plays it absolutely perfectly. Lovely. Little ball into push gas. Get that finesse. Oh, it's off the line from Lorente. Can we find it back to him? I think he would be offside at that point. There it is. Into Pushkas. Draw the keeper away. And I didn't want that. I wanted the, the Ronaldo chop inside or Berber chop, whatever you call it. Back into him again, though. Oh, that was going to be a disaster roll anyway. Push gas, a good save from Courtois. Does the little dummy runs, does all of the right stuff just at the minute. Cannot find that 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 pearl of a shot yet. There it is. There it is. Absolutely stunning goal from him. Just manages to get the little one-two and then volleys it into the left-hand side. Again, not necessarily the most convincing goal in the world, but it's enough to put it through. Nearly finding in Pele instantly off that goal. There it is. Push gas. And again, it's easy. Beautiful stuff. Manages to pull away. Hazard doing pretty much most of the work down that right, uh, down that left hand side. Just passes it across. Just waits for the defender to make that move. And then it's just a berry. Right footed goal. Beautiful. For Pele has been fantastic, but so has Pushkas, to be honest. He's really put himself in that work. Finds in Conte. I didn't, uh, didn't think he'd get taken down so quickly in that role find him again the one thing that i do like about having these icon strikers is they are so easy to find up front normally with strikers especially the kind of lower priced ones they're not necessarily always available the space is never always there whereas it seems push gas and pele i can just literally knock a ball upfield and they're there they're always absolutely free push gas is dangerous on that keeper run look at that takes the ball away from laporte Gets it in, and there we go. There's number two. Literally, it is just trading goals. Pele's got three. Pushkas has got three, and the lights have gone off. Oh, Pushkas let it run, but it's not good enough. Nearly taking it off Laporte. That's the battle in him. Oh, nearly getting there. You can see what I mean. Literally, he gives you that option that even if you do lose the ball, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the battle is over. He's always willing to battle, and that's a big plus in any card. And I think 1.6 mil is not necessarily 
stupid for a card like that. I think that's a relatively good price as we find his next goal. Oh, he's found him for his hat trick. That's the fourth goal. Absolutely stunning from Pushkats. Manages to find the space. And again, the super sub in Path to Glory Hazard is phenomenal. So going into the overall for Pushkats then. What a striker. Honestly, I think 1.5 mil is absolutely justified. If we do look at his, his kind of his prime, his mid, and even his baby, to be honest, all of them look fantastic. Every single one of them has the stats at the point in the game that looks worth it. Whether, to be honest, I'd even say his babies probably is worth it still. And it gives you the chance to play. Because I'm not, I know everybody, not everybody's got 1.6 mil to spend on a brand new icon just like that. And obviously there is only a select few that are going to be able to pack him, basically, from the SBC. So... I think the baby's still worth it. I think that's much more budgetable. I think what we've made over three, four mil in the past two weeks, well, the past like three weeks really, since the Europe SBC has come out just from bronze packs. So if you, and that, that was a lot of packs. So I can imagine I could probably still afford like the, the mid, even with just bronze packs. So obviously I think they are more in people's price range right now after fully sending the club for team of the season for obviously path to glory i think that is still possible to go but his prime moment is absolutely exquisite obviously we've only had him for one year this is the first year and hopefully he does stay in here and i think in terms of hungarian players you've got this guy can't pronounce his name but a cracking player when he came out and then obviously you've got a big boy Gulaski in net, obviously again a decent goalkeeper for the Bundesliga. Not not um, nothing to sniff your nose up at most definitely, but this guy is just absolutely perfect. The chemistry style you want is probably more than likely going to be engine, as everything else is maxed out, and it does turn him into a 98 cam or a 96 striker, even a 98 wing. Everything about him is just brilliant. His agility, balance, his shooting, his pace, even his, his kind of aggression just to get the ball. Even with his physicality not being great, he has that drive to get the ball back. We saw multiple times where he's just tackling defenders. He's just absolutely going through them, getting the ball back and putting it under the under the pressure again. So for me, a 10 out of 10 most definitely. One of the most fantastic strikers we've used so far. Let me know if you've used any version of him and if you do feel the same way about him. Bye from that, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.